Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and welcome to our football construction site as we build the team through the 2018 NFL Draft. You always hear others say that this particular draft is weak or wait until next year to take this particular position or the draft is an inexact science. Well, we at Football Game Plan believe that all three of those statements are huge myths and we are here to show you why as we will infuse talent onto each NFL team to make them better. First, let us all get familiar with the mock draft rules. Number one, these mock drafts will be utilizing the grading system at football game plan scouting. So yes, some of the players will probably be graded higher or lower than what is seen elsewhere, which is why you will probably see some players in the later rounds or earlier rounds than they will actually go. Which leads me to my second point. These picks are based off what I would do as the GM, not based off what I think will happen or what will happen of what I've heard. They're based off what I would do if I were the GM, based off what I perceive the team needs to be. And finally, it's just a mock draft. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Also, to check out those rankings or gradings of these prospects, visit the website at the bottom of the screen. I said this last season that the Bears really had a really good draft class, and as you watched them throughout the season, you got the feeling that this team wasn't as far off as many may have thought. New head coach Matt Nagy has a good foundation already in place, and seven draft picks to build on that foundation this upcoming season. In round one, I went with Roquan Smith out of Georgia. I think he's a top inside linebacker in his draft class, and I think he'd pair up nicely next to Danny Trevathan on the inside. Smith has excellent sideline to sideline speed and is a sound tackler. The way this mock draft fell for Chicago would almost seem like a dream scenario in round two with Marcus Davenport out of UT San Antonio. Now, he's got all of the athletic traits and gifts that you want at that position and has shown it on the field in spurts. Now, you pair him up with Vic Fangio, the defensive coordinator for Chicago, and he'll get him to realize his immense potential as a pro. I like Martinez Rankin out of Mississippi State, the offensive tackle. I think he's the type of player that could compete for the right tackle spot as a rookie or at worst, provide good swing depth up front for Chicago. The Bears continue to revamp their receiving core around quarterback Mitchell Trubisky with J. Mon Moore out of Missouri. Outside of Deshaun Hamilton of Penn State, Moore may be just as good of a route runner and gives them a wide out that can consistently win on the outside. In round five, I wanted to add another talent to the backfield in Bo Scarborough out of Alabama. I think in a situational complimentary role as a pro, he can be very effective. This would give the Bears arguably the best backfield in the division. I went small school in round six with P.J. Hall out of Sam Houston State. The four-time FCS All-American is extremely quick off the ball and was one of the nation's leaders in block kicks as well. I think he will provide good rotational depth up front. Rounding out the Bears mock draft with Blaze Taylor of Arkansas State. He's the ideal slot corner with tremendous quicks and instincts and ball skills. He also has the added value of being one of the better punt returners in this draft class. So that's a wrap for this edition of Building Through the Draft. If you want to watch our other NFL team seven round mock draft videos, as you should, be sure to subscribe to us on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan, where you can also catch all of our FBGP scouting prospect ranking videos and also subscribe to Football Game Plan Podcast on iTunes and check out the Scout Team Podcast.